You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. The Levisa Fork River will soon be undergoing a large-scale cleanup project thanks to the efforts of Pikeville Tourism. The project will focus on the high number of discarded tires currently sitting in the river, which is estimated to be more than 2,500 along the 8-mile waterway. Pikeville Director of Outdoor Recreation Patrick Collins talks more about the condition of the river and what can be done. We wanted to go out and just assess the river and see what kind of shape it was in to promote from a tourism perspective. And, uh, you know, we knew there was a lot of tires in the river. You know, we knew it was bad um, from everything that we've been told. Um, but once you get out there and see it firsthand, you kind of really realize how bad it is. We realized that we really needed to develop some type of plan um, to get some of this trash, uh, specifically waste tires, um, out of the, the river corridor. I think it's time that uh, we just take the initiative and, and see if we can can't uh, collaborate and come up with a plan to to clean the area up that way you know we can better use that river for what it is you know it's, it's been there for a long time it's not going nowhere so we need to uh, we need to take care of it instead of using heavy machinery to remove the tires in large amounts Collins solution is pool noodles and manpower this cleanup method will be used on Saturday August 26th when the community will be invited to help we thought well maybe you know we could take some type of you know, foam or, or pool noodle is initially what we kind of uh, um, uh, decided on. Maybe we can just line the interior uh, portion of that tire with a noodle and maybe that'll be buoyant enough to float it. Ultimately, right now, it's just going to be with our hands using pool noodles, remove the tires from the river bank or some that we can get in stream, remove the sediment from the inside of the tires, put a pool noodle in it, float them on the surface send them downstream, capture them at the downstream inlet, and remove them from there. And the city and the county are going to work on uh, splitting the cost on, on trying to get these uh, tires recycled and, and hauled out here to an appropriate facility. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.